today I'm going to teach you how I clutchless shift and rep match my t catch transmission. This also works on my T56 and my T5. So if you're curious about what I'm talking about, stick around, hit that like and subscribe, and let's let's get on in. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be driving my black car with my TKX transmission in it. We're gonna be doing the rev match like I talked about earlier and we're gonna actually show you how I rev match and it's kind of the entry level to power shifting. Now one thing you gotta be clear of is that you should probably always use a clutch with your transmission. As you actually get more stick shift experience, it becomes a little bit of a second nature at that point. You can learn to rev match your transmission and shift it without a clutch. Now rev matching ain't, ain't nothing new. It's just kind of a, a, a normal driving where you don't even have to engage your clutch. It's kind of cool because you don't have to put strain and, and tear on your clutch setup. And it, 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 it's not an optimal, but it's not too bad either. It's, a lot of truckers do this because they got 18 gears to shift through and I've had people tell me that hey I rev match all the time and, and you know uh, you know we, we power shift you know it, it, there's a lot of names for it but I'm gonna call it rev matching because you could rev match your transmission and not even use your clutch so if you guys are curious about that I'm gonna pop you here in the uh, in the car and we're gonna go for a ride I'll show you Obviously, you got to use a clutch to, to get the car moving, but fellas, this is all, guys, this is all about timing. Rev matching and power shifting is all about timing. And if you're not right, you can break your transmission pretty easily. Again, you know, this all comes with experience. So being able to stick shift, rev match, stick shift, power shift, stick shift, quick shift uh, it, it is an art that actually is something that you acquire if you uh if you stick shift race or just stick shift drive all, all, all the time you know whatever so. so we're gonna go out here on the highway um i'll show you at a little bit higher rpms higher higher gears but you can see it right here i'm about to do it third. no clutch now if you're careful with your transmission like i say you can do this you know with, with relative ease and, and good experience you know and it, you can it's all the sequential gate though. So I guess what I mean by that is you can't do a gearing now. I would not suggest trying to power shift or no lift shift or, or a quick shift gearing down. You still want to use a clutch to go back into the first gear that you use. I'm gonna quick shift rev match. Usually around 3,500 is where I like to do it at. But I'll let up. See, I'll let up. No problem. I didn't use the clutch since the stop sign the first one. Oh. Now obviously, see, I can't do it coming down. You don't want to do that. You don't want a quick shift rev shift coming down. One tip of the trade of uh, stick shift, all the you know driving stick shifts all the time is it just you know coming to a stop in neutral saves a lot on your gears saves a lot on the clutch and the brakes and whatever you just kind of roll the stop or whatever that's a kind of another stick shift thing that's really nice so we'll put it in first we use the clutch this is normal driving on the street Take you back over here. 
here to the highway. We'll make another hit, and then I'll take it. I'll take it home. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the ride along. There's a big difference between quick shifting, there's a big difference between no lift shifting and rev matching, whatever. But you know, I hope that I was able to uh, kind of give you an idea of what rev matching actually is. And you know, with a little bit of practice, you could be on your way to becoming a, a stick shift, uh, you know, master. So, by any means, I don't want you to go out there with your T5 and, and, and your uh, T56 and TKX and try to shift it without a clutch. It takes some skill, it takes definitely takes very, very precise timing. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think <clears throat> I think Brutal, the channel Brutal, I think he's going to be doing a video very soon about power shifting. So this isn't power shifting. This is a more of a rev match video, kind of an entry level to kind of where power shifting goes to and where no lift shifting goes to. So this definitely makes it a lot fun to shift, but it's always not fun when you break a transmission, right? So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. Hit that thumbs up and that notification bell, whatever you want to call it. I encourage you to check out that membership button below, the little join button, as all the proceeds go to help channel do things like this and bring you content. Outside of that, I just appreciate you, you know, your watch time, guys, and, and I will see you soon here in the next video. All right.